Hey everybody, this is another short video on the GX390. Um, if you're having an issue uh, starting where the recall is really hard to pull over, um, these things do have a decompression um, lever in them um, that could, if it's not working correctly, will create higher compression and therefore make it more difficult to start. Um, on the camshaft, you can see it here, there is a, on the back side of the cam, there is a, a lever that's centrifugal. So as the engine picks up speed, the this small little lever will actually force its way outward this way, and um, you will have no more decompression, and you'll get full compression on the cylinder. Uh, the way it works is, if you look closely on this, it's the exhaust lobe. Um, you can see a small lever right here. As this moves in and out, that lever will move. And you can see it pull backwards and forward. So when it's in this position, the tappet or the, or the lifter will catch this small piece on the lobe. And you can see it, it's a little bit higher. It opens that valve just a hair to drop the compression. And as the speed increases, the centrifugal force of the cam will move this whole assembly outwards. And if you watch now, you can see the that lobe. You can see it's a tad bit higher. And as you roll it back, it just pulls it backwards. And then that lifter goes flush against the lobe again. And then the compression comes back up to normal. And when you're not running, of course, it flips out. And that creates that decompression to make it easier to start. Um, if it does stick and doesn't actually, if it's stuck here, uh, when you go to pull over, you'll notice considerable more compression in the cylinder, and um, therefore it will create higher combustion, or sorry, not combustion, higher compression. If you watch our valves here, you can actually see how this works. Um, this one is our intake. This is our exhaust. Um, so as I pull this over, you'll see the intake valve, this guy here, will start to open. So my intake valve, I'll try to get close enough so you can see them move. Um, you can see the intake valve is opening. Then we're going to have intake. And then we're going to have compression. So that intake valve closes. We have compression coming up. Valve, so a piston should be coming up in the cylinder. And then you can see that the exhaust valve just moved a teeny bit. And then I'll have power. And then I'm going to have my intake valve now open because I'll go to the Exhaust stroke, I'll do it one more time so you can see it. So there's exhaust, and then I'm going to have intake. That intake valve will close, and they watch closely on the exhaust valve. So I'm now on, going on to the compression stroke. If you watch really closely, you can see right there, the exhaust valve opened a teeny bit, and then it will now close again. That's my decompression. So it opens that exhaust valve just a bit so that I have a little less compression to help starting. Again, if that valve, if that little lever sticks and it's not allowing that valve, exhaust valve to open, you're going to have higher compression and harder starting. Thanks for watching.